Okay, hello, this is Pablo with uh, craftiest915.com. And today I'm gonna show you real quick how to gang images on a single uh, page on the iColor Pro Rip. Uh, ganging is the ability to put several images onto one page, uh, therefore saving you uh, money, saving you uh, a lot of uh, material when you're printing your transfers. So, First of all, I'm going to add my first image onto this uh, page. I have it set as Uninet two-step standard. It is a tabloid sheet. Notice the printable area is 10.66 times 16.67. I normally do this at 10 and a half, 10.5 times 16, to allow room to put my fingers on the sheet when I'm um, you know, peeling off the adhesive sheet, the B sheet uh, from my transfer. And so I do that. You don't necessarily have to do that, but I do that myself. Uh, the layout on the page has to be on manual. If you have it on auto page or auto nest, you're not going to be able to, uh, you know, gang the, the sheet. So let's uh, go ahead and import our first image, which is going to be this image right here. This is a design that I did for a shirt that I'm gonna make for myself. And it's generating the preview. Now on the preview, notice that uh, the image is at 10.35 inches and it's at 13 inches tall. So 10.35 by 13.35 inches tall. I'm going to modify the size of this one for the purpose of this video. I'm going to change it to 12 inches high. You can do it by entering the numbers yourself or by just clicking on the, on the arrows. I'm going to center this image onto my page by clicking on this icon, center horizontally on page. And now I'm ready to add my next image. So I'm going to click on my plus sign here. I have another image of one of my Crafty's uh, neck labels. And if you notice, that it places this directly under um, the image that you placed first. So if this Im image is too big for the space that you have remaining, it's gonna go directly onto another page. So your best bet is to make sure that you have the, these images that you're adding and ganging on in ProRip uh, at the desired size already. Otherwise you won't be able to do it. Uh, so this one, I'm going to move down about half an inch and then I'm going to make copies of it. I'm going to give a quarter of an inch in between copies and I'm going to make four copies total. Now this particular image I'm going to center horizontally also. And so there you have it. I have these images that are going to be printed on one sheet and so you're not wasting a lot of material here i have the image that i'm going to use for my shirt and here i have some neck labels that i can use uh, when i make uh, shirts for you know customers and so hope this helps uh, if you have any other questions just uh, make sure that you ask them on the comments in the video hit subscribe and, um, you know, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, like I said, make sure that you uh, send us a message or comment below. Thank you and happy crafting.